hello guys uh, welcome back to shakes youtube channel uh please consider subscribing to this channel so that you don't miss out any new video uh we have uploaded another video on this um, application which we are looking at which is uh microsoft excel so please watch part two one of this series before you watch this one or if you just know that or if you have looked at it and uh, observed that you appreciate everything that sla and that uh, and that um, lecture uh, just proceed with this one so if you don't want to miss any new video please make sure you subscribe uh, if you like it give it thumbs up uh, share and give a comment if you have uh, any <coughs> right so today we're going to look at the excel window the excel window and uh, its um, sections so that we know the application itself so here we have uh, so it depends with the um, version of office that we have on your pc uh, if you have microsoft office 2007 you will have this microsoft office pattern but if you have any office package uh, later than 2007 you will have file instead of this office pattern so this office pattern is uh, is having functions that are identical to those that are under file on microsoft office 2013 2010 uh 2016 and maybe those that are coming here then we have uh the quick access toolbar that's where we have the save button and the undo and the redo button so it's the quick access bar on uh, i will show you what we have on uh, microsoft office 2016 the one that i have on my pc then we have this uh, this section these are called tabs home tab insert tab page layout formula data review view add-ins and acrobat all these are tabs so we call that a tab bar a tab bar right so i'm i'm giving you these uh so that you you understand the instructions that i'm going to give you from now onwards when i say click on insert tab under insert go to this that that's how we are going to communicate so please listen carefully and um make sure you remember all these things so that's these are the tab bars and this is the tab bar where we have the tabs and these are the tabs that we have in excel right and then uh, that's the table and the ribbon this is the ribbon where we have some groups or some commands under a certain group for instance we have uh under warm we have clipboard group we have font group we have alignment we have number we have styles we have cells we have editing so these are the groups and this whole thing is called the ribbon and these are the groups under font we have several commands or several buttons that are under font group alignment we have those number we have those so these are the groups and these are the commands or the buttons as well as those 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 those, those. so that one being the ribbon we now know the ribbon and then this is the worksheet area with the cells these are the cells rows and columns this is a1 b1 c1 c3 here so this white area with uh, cells is called worksheet area and then here we have sheet tabs at the bottom where we have sheet one sheet two sheet three and so forth on the previous uh, excel uh, workbook we have first sheet second sheet and so forth and then we have the status bar here 
where you can see the status of your worksheet and if you want to learn more you can uh, press f1 to get help all right so this is the interface and um, this one is called the formula bar the formula bar where we can see or where we can type in the formula for each cell right so that's it for the interface but i've shown you the 2007 interface if you click on insert it will have its different uh, groups so let's go to the latest version which is 2016 let's go to 2016 Right, so let's open Excel, 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 Excel. Right, this one. This is the file that we <coughs> have created in the first uh, video of this series. So, this is file. This is the one that I was talking about. So, this file, let me. This way. So this file is identical to Microsoft Office pattern. If you click on this, this what you, this is what you see. These options, these are the options that appear when you click on um, Microsoft Office pattern. All right. So um, here are the tabs: Home tab, Insert tab. Uh, so you see the commands or the groups that appear when we open each table they are different you can see here we have insert tables and illustrations add-ins and so forth page layout we have also those formulas and so forth data is and so forth so this one is called the name box where the cell highlighted here the name of the cell highlighted here will appear in here and this is the formula bar where we put the formulas and these are the cells these are the cells when i click a cell the name of that cell appear in the name box so this is the interface we have our sheet tabs here and then the status bar here the worksheet area is this one so that's the interface that is the interface so let's go back to Let's go back to our um, slide. Right. So that's the interface. I think we now know or appreciate the interface of our application. Please thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Right. Uh, let's look at each item. So this is the ribbon. The ribbon from the uh, underworm. That's the ribbon. And these are the groups, font group, alignment, styles, and so forth. So those are the uh, items of the ribbon. Let's now look at um, how each cell is named. For instance, we have C3. So we start with an alphabetical letter or a series of alphabetical letters and then followed by a numerical value c3 that's this one that's how we name cells so if i say click cell um, uh, d4 what will you do we will say d and then 4 where they meet that's d4 in the name box it appears there so that's it for that's it on uh, naming excel cells all right now let's look at uh, navigation navigation 
how do you navigate horizontally you hit the tab key on the keyboard how do you navigate um okay right you, you use the tab key on the keyboard or you use the right directional arrow navigating vertically you press enter or down directional arrow so how do you do auto filling you highlight the cells with the pattern put the cursor at the bottom corner of the highlighted cells drag the small plus sign uh, cursor in the direction where you want to do the or to apply the auto filling so let's do this quickly so we open our excel so what we want to do is let's delete everything and start so we say let's say monday you just stay mon mon and then tab so what do you, what i want to do is i want to show you the keyboard let me show you the keyboard and how i'm doing this right so what i do is i type monday in there and i press tab you see what happened then i say choose and just say choose and then i select these two and then drag so that's horizontal navigation you click tab 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 so that's horizontal navigation then if i say uh, press enter that's vertical navigation for directional arrow like that that's how it's done that's how it's done at the moment so that's how we navigate uh, horizontally and vertical so maybe let's say here i can say two then press enter and then say four and then press enter and then say six press enter right so to do to apply auto filling i highlight those two and then drag up to let's say n you see mon tuesday wednesday thursday friday Saturday, Saturday Monday. it has um it um extracted the pattern from these two highlighted cells and applied it to other cells same applies i will highlight this and then uh drag this to there you see two four six eight ten four fourteen and so forth so that's how we do uh auto filling and navigation thank you very much for watching this video um, please don't forget to subscribe and give a comment and share watch uh, for party three right goodbye please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment